Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome, viewers. You are still watching the Holy Ghost School program. I'm Evangelist Grace Ujo Kongo. This is the second epistle of the Skull of the Separation. Now, we are, we are still in the Noah. Bible says that Noah is, a, is listed among the heroes of faith. Bible says in Hebrew 11, 7, By faith, Noah being divinely warned of things not yet seen, moved with godly fear, prepared an ark for the saving of his household, by which he condemned the world and become heirs of righteousness, which is according to faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this man of God called Noah. Bible says, by faith, Noah being divinely warned of things not yet seen. Means that Noah walked with faith. He believed God. But the problem today, we don't want to believe God. We are seeing the signs everywhere. But yet, Bible says, in the last days, according to Matthew 24, it said, there shall be false prophets. There shall be false Christ." And these are the warning that Jesus gave the apostles, even when the apostles asked him, Lord, when shall this thing happen? And the Lord told them that this shall be the signs of the last days. But today we see things happening in the church and outside world, but yet we don't want to know that this is the time. We keep jumping here and there. We keep moving here and there. Oh, it's happening there. Let me go. Oh, it's happening here. Let it go. Jesus said, when you see them, know that this is abomination of desolation. Hallelujah. Something happened here. The Bible said that Noah believed the Lord divinely warned of things not yet seen. Means that Noah foreseen the things that are about to happen by revelation. And he believed the Lord. And that belief the Lord means that he started working with that. Knowing that soon it's going to happen. He knew that it's going to be, it's going to happen. It's not something that any revelation. It is because he believed that the when God speaks, he's going to be, he's going to be accomplished. The Bible says that the heaven and earth shall pass away, but the word of God will remain the same. So Noah walked with the Lord. He believed the Lord for things not yet seen. Our generation today is waiting for the day the Lord will crush and crumble the earth in the twinkle of an eye. But I don't think that is the best decision. The best decision is to do what Noah did. By agreeing with the Lord, agree with revelation. Of course, God is revealing things. God is talking to his people. And having our own gods that work with his revelation. I know that God is God that speaks to the righteous and he speaks to the wicked. God speaks to his people, but people don't take it for anything. People don't take it for people take it for granted. People wake up with divine revelation. They call it nothing. But they, they don't work with that. And God is counting all those things for us. He wants us to walk with the revelation he's given to us. Why? In the time of Nebuchadnezzar, God speak to him. He's an evil man, but God speak to him. He passed a message. In the time of Pharaoh, God passed a message to him. And the same way God is passing a revelation to every one of us. In Abraham, he received a message. Joseph. And he, even David, a lot of people, even Jesus Christ received the revelation about his coming. And apostles, they are moving with revelation. But today, God speaks to his people. We don't call it anything. We don't work with it. We call it mere dream. We, some call it nightmare. It's unfortunate. May God have mercy upon us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So Noah believed the Lord for things he has not seen. And Bible says he moved godly. He moved with godly fear. Prepared an ark to save his household. How many of us are saving, preparing to save our household? It's unfortunate. I found that many family has not yet separated unto God. Many family, when you come to their family, they don't. You, they, 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 the kind of thing they watch, the kind of life they live, the kind of things they say with their mouth, you would be marveled. Is this a Christian home? Is these people the real people of God? The kind of movie they go, the kind of places they go, you will ask yourself, are we Christians? Are we ready for this heaven? Are we really called to make it? Remember, we're in a Christian race. This is a race. And this race is not an easy race. It's a race that one must be careful, more, one must focus to be able to make it. If not, a lot of people are going to be disappointed at the end of it. But it's not a portion, God forbid. Hallelujah. And we keep going. So, as Bible said that Noah, and he Noah prepared the earth to save his household so that they will not be condemned with the world. As the Lord has told Noah that I'm going to condemn the world. Bible said again, with the, steadfast, with the steadfastness, with confidence, Noah had in the Lord. Noah started building the ark during his own time. Noah continued to preach the gospel. And his gospel of Noah then was judgment and a merciful message. It's a judgment and merciful message. It's a warning message to ungodly people and telling them, Come down. God says we shall build this ark. Come and join me to build this ark. Because flood is about to destroy the whole world. Noah was preaching this message, moving around the lawn, everywhere, left and right, front and back. But people doesn't listen to him. 
but something great indeed that baffles me. That is why I speak to the family of God. Bible said that Noah prepared his family. Because we confirm it in the second Peter 2, verse 5. Bible said, Peter reminded us of how God. The Bible says, did not did God not spare the ancient world, but spared Noah, one of eight people, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood on the world of ungodly. Means that God destroyed the world, but saved only one man and his family of eight. And he said that Noah is a preacher of righteousness. And God now bring the flood to destroy the whole world. What does this mean? Noah prepare his family. Are you preparing your family? Are you preparing your husband, your children? Are you preparing your wife? Ministers of God. Are you preparing your church? Are you preparing your ministry for the second coming of Jesus? The ark is building now. This is the time to build the ark. The Bible says that Noah saved only eight people. And these eight people is for his family household. And something happened here. Noah preached, Bible said that Noah preached 120 years without any convert. At the end of that time, when the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, eight souls were saved through water. Hallelujah. Only eight souls were saved. Bible said that God waited long suffering. God waited patiently. God waited a long time. For 100 and 120 years, the Lord waited patiently for Noah to preach this message of righteousness on generation. And today, we are still in the time of Noah. There is, there, there is not yet condemnation. There is not yet destruction. The, the doom day has not yet come, but we are at the door of it. The judgment of God is already on. And God is calling us to build the ark. And God is looking unto us to change our ways. God is calling us to look unto the same man, Noah, and do what he did. And what did Noah did to save the old people? He preached the message of righteousness. It is not a mixed message. It is not a religious message. It is a message of righteousness. The Bible confirms it. It says that he is a preacher of righteousness. That means the message of coming of Jesus Christ. The message of preparing for the coming of Jesus Christ. The message of building the ark must be the message of everybody. Turn back to Jesus. Let us return back to our maker. And the message must be a message of righteousness. A message of reconciliation. A message of transparency. A message of complete repentance. Turning, making a U-turn back. Unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. People continue in their evil ways in the time of Noah. What that is the result. They ignore the pleading of Noah. Noah was pleading. Noah was, Noah was warning. He was pleading. He was warning. Why? Because he received the message. He know that when God speaks, he's going to destroy, he will do so. Noah believed God because he know that when God said that this is going to happen, it's going to happen. And that was what happened. When Noah now knew that God is about to wipe out the earth, what did he do? He started pleading to his people. He started pleading to his generation. He started crying. He started warning. This is the same thing I'm doing today. I'm warning my generation. There is a judgment coming. There is a warning coming. There is a sign everywhere. God is calling us to build the ark. What is this ark? I said earlier, you have to get a time for God. So that God will prepare you. So that God will cleanse you. So that God will separate you. Remember the topic called a call of separation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bible says that when the ark was ready to go, Noah entered in with all kinds of animals. And the Lord shot him in. Oh my God. Marika said that Jesus have mercy. Cut off completely from the rest of the mankind. This is where feared me most. Uh, that when Noah cried and showed uh, and he gave chances for people to return and they join him in making the ark. Bible says that none of them joined him but only the eight of his family members joined him. And when they joined him, Bible says that God patiently is run out. God could not continue to go into wrong suffering. He decided to show his doom in his generation. Bible says that God shut down the, the ark by himself. Hallelujah. And the Bible said the rest of mankind was completely destroyed. This is not our portion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Marie Kasunda. Noah was grateful to God who has delivered him from the flood. Why? Because he had the voice of God. He listened. He believed. He walked. He prepared. And he passed the message. He prayed. He cried. You can imagine someone to cry and pray. And he passed information for 120 years. Only eight people entered the ark. My brethren, that is what is going on in the church today. That is what is going on all over the whole world. The gospel are being preached. Nobody wants to listen. I want you to know 
the day of the Lord is coming. And on that day, when he comes, no more time to change, no more time to make you turn. I want us to know that the time of judgment is already here, as in the time of Noah. But thank you, Jesus, that you have not blood yet on them out. You are still giving us opportunity. That is why I'm calling my brethren, my generation, as God called Noah, separated him, prepared him, I used him to build the ark, and only eight people were saved. The time we are in now is a time of preparation. Families of God, children of God, ministers of God, pastors, ministers, bishop, evangelists, whatever you give yourself, any title you, you have, the Lord is calling us to revive our church, calling us to revive our ministry. How many souls are you sure in your church, your ministry, that are saved? How many are you sure? You have thousands of congregations. Are you sure they are saved? Listen, Noah was sure of eight people. Maybe he's preached to 120 people, but only eight we are sure of. Are you sure of how many people in your church? God is calling us. Change your message, the message of repentance. Change your message to the message of salvation. Change your message to the message of judgment, for it is already here. The doom day are here. Thank you, Jesus, because I know you're going to use this message to touch people. Blessed be thy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.